side of the older snapper, non-self-propelled. Uh, it has the bag. This has a hole in it, but it also came with an extra um, side chute that connects to the bag. So if the engine runs fine, we will be putting this on and recycling another one. Um, so I have this just in case. It should be half inch. Yeah, half inch. I don't really know a lot about this person who gave it to me. I don't really have too much to say. Um, if I remember correctly when I first got this, it ran um, pretty decently too. So, but unfortunately it's the winter time. So if memory serves me right, I think I might just have to put gas in it. Oh, a tad on the low end though, but it looks new. That's one of the part that is there. Just put in a dash of oil. At least it's new, so maybe it was already done. Yeah, no, it's right in the middle of the hash bar is perfect. Um, I guess, let's see here. I'll take the filter. That's usually a good telltale sign of. Two of these, one of them I remember also did have spark. Oh wow, it's brand new. Okay. I think I'm just gonna put some gas in it. Let's see if she starts. Maybe the person who gave it to me just or maybe this was the one that did have spark, but they went through the motions of getting it, um, of, you know, trying to fix whatever was wrong with it. This is throttle work. Yeah. It's, it's hurt better days, but it's working. Is this the type that has the auto choke? Yes, it is. Uh, those are borderline aggravating, but the choke is fully engaged, so that's the important part. You know what, let's just put this down, put a little starting fluid in it. I know, that's not even do that. Let's move this right here. You see, yeah, yeah, you're pretty decent. Um, this way, can you see better? This way. That thing didn't seem like it was on. It's, it's a new plug, and it's Maybe has like 20 minutes on it. That's kind of a problem. The clip on the inside is a little loose. That's not really grasping the plug very well. Maybe that's the no spark that I'm speaking of. All right now I'm just gonna bend a little quick. So I 
has something to grab. Turn off. Kill wire goes over here. There's probably another one. Yeah, there is another one. Right there. Okay. So it should work just fine. Put this down. Kind of tip it over, see if, what the blade is doing. So sometimes you're just missing a few things. I miss the fact that the blade brake was on. So let's Just see if it rock itself into place. Okay, so we have both spark and we have. I guess we don't know if we have compression, but let's see here. What do we do? There is just a little bit of fuel, like just a little bit. I'm just going to put some gas in it. Because what happens here is the fuel line is literally like right here. Um, there's these little tubes that go down into it. And if, why don't I put it up? If for any reason there's water or junk in the carburetor, it won't take it directly from the bottom. So there, you have like a little bit of leeway, but that's also the distance that you'll start to run out of fuel uh, when you're using it. So you look in there and you'll see swishing the highlighter each. And um, you'll wonder why. That's why. That last section is kind of like a kind of like a debris trap. Like some like Hondas, or especially generators, they'll have it, that little section right off the tank that just is there to kind of clutch in the big pieces of debris. Because these don't have like a fuel filter. So that's a scare way of doing that. Excuse me. Oop, that was a little more than I wanted. Okay, there we go. Oh, 
finna be going on there. So, this is the type that will start shooting all kinds of nastiness on you if it is running. So let's just put this there to kind of avoid a face full of whatever. If there's anything on the bottom of that. this little arm that holds it in place and pulls it up and down. Maybe that just fell off. Let's just try it again. Let's see if it just stuck, it should turn it off. wrong is behind this little door there is a like I said that little arm that connects to a diaphragm on the bottom that controls the choke hoping it fell off because um, that would just be the easiest <coughs> comes off this is actually as the non-choke versions. I'm sure back in the day these were probably really sought after. Oh, that's going to be a pain because the Take that little five sixteenths screw. to the carb station and see what we have. Okay, so as soon as I get over here, garage dog decides to come over here, but it's okay. We'll walk around her. Quarter inch. We 
if this isn't it, then we have to replace the whole diaphragm. for this far into it. The little spring that's supposed to be the one that puts it back into choke when it's done. That appears to be working just fine. I'm really not a fan of these auto chokes. People always complain pretty heavily about the newer auto chokes. Well, I would admit, some companies like Core don't have a very good one. I've never really had too much of a problem with the Briggs and Stratton in that. Honda's the little thermal wax pen goes out. That's aggravating. And you're usually not too hard to replace though. It looks like there's just a, like, the gasket itself doesn't seem hard. It just looks like there's a whole bunch of corrosion in here. And this little spring. Also pushing it up. So it pushes it down. Let me do some thinking. Okay, so I took the gasket off. Okay, now I can't find the carburetor. I just had it. Oh, here we go. Yeah, when I took the gasket off, there was a whole lot of corrosion everywhere. So I took it off. Now I'm just kind of in the process of blowing everything out.
making sure it's all good. Um, I don't know, I probably should mention I also find the ultrasonic cleaner. So it's been cleaned. And I cleaned as best as I could in here. There's this little pocket, this little uh, area that seems to feed into this cavity. Because in that cavity, there's like three different ways for the choke to be pushed back up, but there's only, there was nothing to ever pull it down. I put my air compressor in there and I um, uh, noticed that I heard like a pssst, like it just became unplugged, so I think that was pretty good. Um, so I think that was probably our problem, because I mean, this doesn't really look all that bad. It's very pliable. So if this doesn't work, we'll go ahead and buy another one. But I have a good feeling about it. I also took the carburetor cleaners and just kind of cleaned up as much as I possibly could. Had to make sure that little spring lined up. Let's see if that helped us out at all. And if not, worst case scenario, I'll just buy another one. Uh, this bracket I forgot goes on the carburetor too. This is definitely not one that I would be buying a new. Let me rephrase. I think I just said that I would be buying a new carburetor. No, I'd be buying a new carb kit for it. The carburetor for this is probably horrendous. An old Brooks and Stratton auto choke. No. If that was the case, this might just turn into. Actually, I don't think you can't. Well, yeah, you could. You would have to redo all of it. But, um, let's see if I just put like, a primer bulb on it at that point. It would look a little funky, but maybe it would even run better. Who knows? Seals good. Fly get off me. Check to see if it was on there. It is, okay, good. There's these two little slots that need to line up though. There we are. Putting the ultrasonic cleaner, I also took the needle out, including the seal and everything. Oh, 
that just came right out. Okay, disaster of Vorty Garage Dog found something. Okay, so that's one half out. Chokes the loss of return, that's good. I'm gonna put this on and we'll see what happens. Okay, it's down, installed. Everything should be good to go. Let's go to Yank. Let's see what happens. I think this is going to work, but let's just put the filter on. Where did Rob go then for it? Oh, there it is. Is maybe there's a area in there. This bolt has to kind of block off old stuff like this. is kind of weird like that. Let's give it a try. Show needs to be adjusted. Let's keep more less. Let's do about there.
like all you had to do was just do that. Okay, well, I don't know if it was just the fact that the pin was out probably for the first one, but either way, that wasn't going to be working very well. It was pretty nasty in there, so I'm glad we got it done. Next, let's take the side shoot off. Okay, get this ready. Okay, so, got that all done. Now, I think we're at that point where we just need to take the side off. Like has some goodies. Is there another one? There's always probably one that's hard to get to. for that. Oh look, and it comes with washers too. Take a quick gander to make sure these are the same. It's a little bit different, but the height seems about the same as the That's why there's a kill down there. If you don't have this on, it won't work. Just an idea. Are you still recording? Okay, good. I'm sure these probably will not be at one point, but that should be fine. Okay, well, this is a little snapper. Just needed a little carb cleaning replacement of this. Probably can clean that bag out. Oil's clean, brand new filter, brand new plug. I think that's about it. Well, if you like what you see, definitely keep watching. Definitely subscribe. I'll see everyone later, and have a good rest of your night.